Good morning, everyone. This is Brian Weber with another YouTube video on the Tops of Trader platform. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to create alerts on the desktop. So if you go to the top left here, if you hover over this bell icon, it's for creating alerts. So if I click that bell, uh, we'll have this dialog box pop up and we'll be able to create a new alert for on the left tab, which says new alert. And once we create the alert, it'll be listed under here where it says list of alerts. You'll have active, triggered, and disabled. So let's create a simple alert. I'll do it based on symbol and I'll do the NASDAQ M0, that's the current contract. And this lit drop down list is a list of all the different parameters we can create alerts based on. So I'll just do last price, make that a little bit higher. Market's closed right now, but uh, we'll just create a sample alert. Higher from here till canceled is fine. And then we'll click create. So now it's active. So if I go to list of alerts, I can see it here under active. So anything when the last press of NASDAQ goes above 94.22 half, we'll get an alert. It'll be on the desktop. And I believe this will also be pushed to your mobile app if you're using the app as well, as long as you have those notifications enabled. So let's go back to create a, an alert again. And this time, uh, just to look at the different types of conditions, you can do based on accounts. And I'm gonna use the trial one that I have right now. And you can set it based on these different types of uh, open PL, total PL, net liquidity, daily loss limit, weekly loss limits. You can set alerts based on that kind of stuff. Position as well. If I had a position on the NASDAQ, these are the types of different alerts you can set. It's quite, quite extensive, I would say. Never actually created alerts for this kind of stuff. Um, but if you wanted to, you could set alerts for types of position, open p and and stuff like that. But it's the same as if you just did the same with uh, creating a condition for the symbol. But um, you kind of get the idea there. You can create alerts for three different types of conditions. Um, then those parameters, those conditions have different parameters you can set alerts based on. But let's go to advanced and show you what else we can do here. In this advanced setting for creating alerts, you can have different conditions. Um, if you were to create an alert that chains different conditions together, you would do that here. So let's say, for example, um, you could have if all or if any, if all, which means an and condition, if any is an or condition. Um, if you don't know what that means, I suggest uh, maybe testing it out. Um, so if I create this condition, we have last price above, let's just move, make it a little bit higher. And then I'll do another one for the same contract. And maybe let's do like, uh, I don't know, bid size is like over a hundred do it greater than 100 and we'll do position on the nasdaq if we had one and we'll do open p l in dollars is greater than 100 or something i this is a really weird alert but just showing you that how you can chain these together you can switch between if all and if any the and or the or condition and then i could just click create and then I can go to list of alerts and uh, you'll see it here. So if you want to edit it, you can just simply click edit and it brings back up the same exact dialog box where you can edit the current alert that you created. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave it the way it is. So if for some reason this also triggered, you can click reset, reset your alert. And I believe that will show up here. If it triggered, then you'll be able to reset. Then it'll go put itself back in the active tab. So if I were to click delete here on this one, because this is a really weird alert, it doesn't actually go under disabled, it'll just be deleted completely. I think um, that pretty much wraps up how to create alerts. It's pretty straightforward. It's like any other platform you would use. I actually, the one thing I'd see here on alerts, you don't see an alert. If I click here and NASDAQ, whatever, and there's no way to create an alert based on a study that you have at least that I see from this page. So you might have to use Thinkorswim for something like that. But uh, for just basic general alerts, you can use your Top Sub Trader platform and your combines. If you guys have any questions, 
let me know. Drop a comment, I'd be happy to help. And also notice that the alerts will also show up on the DOM here, which is pretty cool. But you can cancel it as well if you wanted to by clicking on it. So that's no longer there. List of alerts, I don't have any of that's active anymore. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, just give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, just go ahead and click the logo that's popping up now to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. And uh, I'll chat with you guys soon. Take care. Bye.